when feather pillows are nice and clean, you can fold them over and they'll just go plop. They'll just hop right back out. So that's one way to know that your pillow needs cleaning, in case you wanted to know. I cannot wait for this pillow to be fluffy tonight. I'm so excited. Hi, I'm Julie. I live in Southern New Hampshire with my husband and two of our three kiddos. Welcome to Tiny Tidy Tuesday. Tiny Tidy Tuesday is a collaboration hosted by Sunday Dawn at The Helpful Home. Please check out in the description below the link for the playlist to all of the other Tiny Tidy Tuesday videos that we'll be uploading today. And thank you, Sunday Dawn, for hosting this tiny collaboration. In this video, we're doing something very different. We're doing a how-to. How to wash your flat, frumpy feather pillow and turn it into a fluffy, fabulous feather pillow. <laughs> I couldn't think of another adjective. I tried. So stay tuned and learn how to refresh your feather pillow in a few easy steps. Well, here I am at our place in Vermont. I have my king size feather pillow here with me. It's been feeling a little flat lately, so I'm going to pop that in the machine here. I can't do that at home because you need a, 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 a top loader, not a front loader, and I have a front loader at home. So yeah, here it is. It doesn't just plop back over. When feather pillows are nice and clean, you can fold them over and they'll just go plop. They'll just hop right back out. When you wash your feather pillows, you need to balance out the machine. Either do two pillows of the same size, one on either side of the center agitator, or you need to add towels to the opposite side of the washing machine to keep it from um, becoming off balance. I'm going to spray down the cover with some Oxy. I believe that's sweat stains, not drool stains. <laughs> All right, just rub that in. And then the other side. Positioning the pillow is the most important thing. Ultimately, the pillow is going to go horizontally around the agitator. However, at the beginning, you first need to place it in vertically while you fill up the machine with water because the air needs to come out of the pillow and it's easier to squeeze it out if it's in a vertical position. Also, please balance out the opposite side of the agitator in the machine with extra towels so that your machine will stay balanced during the spin cycle. So I'm gonna um, start running the water. Okay, I'm gonna add my free and clear. I'm gonna put that here on this side. Squeeze the air out. Now I'm going to look at my not so fluffy pillow now. Yep. Yeah. Really get that in there nice and deep. Oh boy. Let's see. Oh, I see what happened. The towels got all around. So we need the towels all on one side. Come here, Mr. Towel. I know you wanted to play with the, with the pillow. Mr. Pillow, I know you wanted to play with the towels, but you know, what we need is we need you here. Oh, and there's a lot of air in that pillow. I'm gonna take it out and roll it up, squeeze the rest of the air out. Okay, so uh, this is funny. It, um, it spun, it spun, and it's complete. But um, the washing machine definitely went for a little bit of a ride. How'd we do? Oh boy. Yep. Yeah. It's still very, very wet. Rinse and spin, drain and spin. That's why I want to do a drain and spin. Oh yeah, listen to that. 
perfectly balanced. I done a good job. Yes, I did. <laughs> All right, that spun out perfectly. Now, <clears throat> what we do is we put the towels in the dryer and the next thing you have to do with your newly washed pillow that has been washed and rinsed and then rinsed again is you need to go through and break up the feather clumps as much as possible. big lumps of feather here. And when you're drying your feather pillow, it is helpful to have a towel or two. Also, if you have any tennis balls, um, clean tennis balls, if you want to add another little add. So there's definitely some, still some lumps in here, but um, not as big as they there were some that were like like a big, big softball. So I'm going to put this in. There we go. Bye-bye. Actually, I'm going to put in one of my, my bathroom mats. That, that one's already dry. I think I'm going to add that in there as well. Quite a racket. Let's see, it is five to seven. Hopefully, my pillow will be dry by bedtime. Um, I think last time it was really perfect around four hours, so just in time for bed. All right, it's 7.05. Let's see how we're doing here. Where is it? All right, there it is. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to do some Woo! major vacuuming. <laughs> Feels better already. Basically just going around and swooshing the clumps. You gotta swoosh the clumps. Swoosh. feathers right there. I gotta get the vacuum. So what's interesting when drying the pillow is that it will um, feel dry on the outside, but the feathers are not dry. You will know it's dry when it's you know, about to six inches thick and you don't feel a single clump on the inside. Yeah, you'll know when it's dry, but it takes it takes a while. It's, it's a good four hours. And it's almost eight o'clock. Let's see how it looks. Getting there. This is at the point where you might lose hope. Don't lose hope. <laughs> Start at one end. Still smell that it's wet. It smells like clean damp dog. I cannot wait for this pillow to be fluffy tonight. I'm so excited. I love my feather pillow. But it's been really letting me down lately. <laughs> Okay, it's time to check things 
out again. How is that always getting fluffier? 3.45. In for another go. Okay, it's now 10 o'clock. Been doing this for four hours. Just look at, look at how fluffy she is. Look at that fluffy pillow. <laughs> look at that beautiful, fluffy, clean pillow. It is absolute perfection. Oh, I hope that some of you who have sad, flat, down feather pillows, give this a try because it works wonderfully. I cannot wait to, oh, oh my gosh, I'm so happy to so happy to have my pillow back. <laughs> if any of you have a sad, flat feather pillow, you have got to give this a try. Your pillow will be renewed. I cannot wait to put my head on this pillow tonight. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Thanks to you who have stayed to the end. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. And I would love it if you would press the like, the little like button and leave a comment below. It really helps my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.